Hey everyone, this is Wobby Wallaby. Today I'll be reviewing Heinrich's ability in PvE. Heinrich is an auto attack class that can dual wield, but it has some strange mechanics. I'll discuss those so you can start preparing to build your Heinrich. Stay tuned to see how well Heinrich did. There was a recent patch that fixed Heinrich. Hopefully he'll get more buffs in the near future. One of his significant fixes is related to his core hero skill. This was White Star before. You'll notice you need level 7 to dual wield. After the recent patch, he can dual wield by default. Also, his level 7 has been adjusted so that his auto attack damage contributes to all his skills and is not affected by auto attack damage reduction. This is a nice damage boost, especially in Legend instances, which has high auto attack damage reduction. Also, dual wielding is the best part of this class, so I'm glad the devs made it free to play friendly. This gives this class much needed creativity and provides a unique feature. Next, in the unofficial Ragnarok Mobile Community Discord server, Synoptics provided a great summary of Heinrich's confusing mechanics. You can find this post pinned in the Heinrich channel. First, auto attack is an auto attack. As his core hero skill says, he can't do normal attacks. He uses these four white star attacks in sequence. The next unfortunate thing is all cards and proc effects from auto attack doesn't work. Here I have Stormy Knight star card and Bloody Knight. Both have a chance to proc skills. It unfortunately never happens, which is a real shame. Next, indeed skill damage bonuses is required and affects all skills. Next, post patch, auto attack damage bonuses now affect all skills at level 7 7 core hero skill. Next, crit does not increase the chance to hit, it is random and rises from stacks, so luck won't make you crit more often. Next, hit is required, so for PvP, make sure you invest in it, otherwise, you won't be hitting anything. Next, crit damage does affect the damage, but Synoptic. Notes that Fairy in a Bottle doesn't work. Next, Cobalt Leader does work and is great for survivability. Finally, Critical Damage ignores defense completely. In other cases, ignore defense is needed for his skills. Ignoring defense completely is what crit does in general for other classes like Auto Attack Stellar Hunter. Thanks a lot to Synoptic for posting these findings. A lot of people had asked similar questions, so I'm glad that he had tested these out. If you need BCC to get Heinrich Ruins, then try Small.1. Small.1 allows you to get discounted BCC and premiums for Ragnarok Mobile. They have been around for more than 8 years and have plenty of global business partners for other games too. I'll put a link in the description. Thanks to Small.1 for sponsoring this video. Next are skills. If you want to know each skill and ruin, please see my initial Heinrich video. I'll put a link in the description. For my manual bar, I have Breaking Dawn, which gives buffs. Next, Fire Strike, the high damage skill, but it puts you at 1 HP. The more potential you have charged up, the more damage you'll do. Next, Unyielding, which is a nice damage buff. Next, Moonlight Dance. This is a skill that you can spam a bit more often, and it gives you a bit of burst damage. The more potential you have charged up, the more damage you'll do. Next is Snapshot, which gives you survivability. And finally, Wind Whisper, which lets you dodge incoming attacks. Next for auto attack, I just have his auto attack skill. Next is his gear overview. I chose to dual wield. I don't have a plus 15 Heinrich weapon, so I'm using the plus 15 demon knife with the Koba leader card and Nuka. Koba leader helps a lot with survivability since he's squishy and the lifesteal is much needed. The rest is a mixture of auto attack and skill damage gear. Next for Shadow Equipment, this account only has the St. Mary Cloth Shoes for Oracle Mirror, so I use that. For Oracle Mirror, I use the plus 15 Combustible Knife. For Ancient Relic, I use Elf's Piccolo. You might have noticed a brand new card here. This is the White Star Knight card. It is an accessory card, it provides movement speed plus 5%, critical damage plus 10%, and every 15 points of it will increase critical strike damage by 1%. Here's what you need to craft this card. 
Finally, a nice way to use the Bloody Murder card. I thought I'd try out this card since it seemed to be made for Heinrich, and on paper it has some pretty good stats. Next for attributes, I max out Vitality, then Strength, then remaining into Luck. Due to the Bethameth accessory, I need 119 for each attribute, so I added in some Int. Please note that the more Vitality you have, the more damage you'll do as Heinrich, so it's good to pump that up. With B meals, I have 46,000 attack, 480% attack speed, 70.8% penetration, 225.4% critical damage, 55% auto attack damage increase, 10% skill damage increase, 237.3% damage, and 89.7% physical damage increase. For this build, I'm primarily focusing on the auto attack part to do the most damage. Next for Adventure Handbook, I have 4920 attack deposit and 140% attack deposit. With such a stack to account and gear, how well will it do? When it comes to killing non-legend bosses, the burst is quite good with Fire Strike. Here I Fire Strike the Time Holder for 516 million damage. That's even without charging up any potential. I think when compared to other auto attacking classes, his burst can hit the hardest, which is super useful if you want to one hit KO or last hit something. Next for instances that have mobs like Oracle Elite, I find that the damage just isn't high enough. It's great that his auto attack splashes, but again it just doesn't do enough. It also would have been better if you could spam Moonlight Dance a lot more, but the cooldown is kinda bad. I personally think the damage scaling needs to be a bit better. I hope they'll adjust the vit so it adds to much more damage than it is right now. With this build, I couldn't clear Oracle Elite X with this build. Next for boss hunting, I wouldn't recommend Heinrich either. First, you don't have any moveseed boosts yourself, so you'll easily lose to Novice Guardians, Lightbringers, Saitama, or Rathkrasis, who all have a way to boost your move speed. Also, your burst skill is okay, but I wouldn't put it to the level of Saitama or Wataru. But compared to any other auto attack classers, I think this is the best. Here I am fighting the Apox, and from my experience, the auto attack damage just isn't high enough, and I wish we could spam these skills better. Next for Legend instances, the only one I could clear solo was the Legend Golem. I cast Moonlight Dance to show some of the mini bursts I can get. When the Golem is about to do his AoE, I Wind Whisper to jump back, which does look pretty cool. I keep hitting him, the critical damage can hit really hard. Also, without using the Cobalt Leader card, I find he dies very easily. You'll really need that card for survivability. The rock comes down and then I have to place it. I continue hitting him. One neat thing is his auto attack AoE range. I'm able to hit a rock behind me. I finished the golem off with Moonlight Dance. Floor 2 was bugged for me, since I transformed into a totem even though I looked away, so I couldn't clear that. Next, I'll show my failed attempt against the Legend Dragon. I switched to my gear a bit to use the skill damage gear. Some people were asking whether you can use it, and it definitely does work, and it does a lot of damage too. I also switched my weapon to use a second Heinrich Longsword, hoping it would do better. This set did perform a little bit better against the dragon compared to my previous set, so it just lets you know that there is some flexibility. But unfortunately my DPS just wasn't there, and I have seen other Heinrichs do a lot of damage in their videos, but I think that the cards they have are just way better than what I have. But even without all those other endgame gears, I would have expected with this deposit and gears that I have, it still should do pretty well. On the same account with Restricy, I could mow down this dragon no problem. Compared with Taekwon, you both feel pretty squishy, but I think Taekwon has more consistent DPS, and his proc skills hit much harder. Overall, I think Heinrich needs more buffs. I personally don't think he's good enough as he is now. He's very underwhelming when compared to Rathkrasi for PvE, who scales significantly better. I think he's similar to Jormungandr or Holgrahan. They are both pretty fair classes, but that doesn't mean it's broken enough for people to switch to them. These days, if people want to invest in a hero class and get all those ruins, they really want a busted class. And although dual wielding is pretty cool, I don't think that'll save this class. What are your thoughts on Heinrich so far? If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. 
here's a video that I would recommend. And if you want more sneak peeks, check out this playlist over here.